morning, Megan Morrison here, and I'm headed to the salon right now to get my hair done. My sister Morgan is gonna do it. I'm so excited, it's so bad, you guys. I'll show you when I get to the salon, like closer up of what it looks like, but I am currently listening to a podcast. Oh, there's my puppy. Say hi, Minnie. Say hi to everybody. She always has to be on my lap while I'm driving. She's crazy. Anyways, I am listening to a podcast and I usually almost always am listening to a podcast, especially on the way to work or if I'm driving, traveling somewhere. I just love listening to podcasts. It just motivates me. It's so inspiring. And there's like a whole list of different ones that I listen to. And if you want to know what they are on Instagram, I posted, um, okay, Minnie, you have to sit. Hold on. She like sits on my steering wheel and when I start to turn it, she can't hold her grip anymore. So, okay. So if you want to know the podcast, I'll link them below. But also if you go to my Instagram page, Megan.Lorson, I have a, an, uh, a post and it says podcast on it. And if you click find that um, post underneath in the description, I post a list of all of the podcasts that I love to listen to. I have a good handful of them, but I just love, especially... If you are not surrounded by people who support you and are motivating and telling you that you can do it, then it's so easy to get distracted. It's so easy to get unmotivated. And it's so easy to start listening to the negative people around you. So if you don't have a good support system, like good friends and family surrounding you, cheering you on, motivating you, telling you you can do it, then podcasts are a great option for you because they're so full of inspiration and motivation and just all these inspiring stories of people that did do it and that did it without when you know you find when you listen to the podcast too that every single person I've listened to literally has had to start from the ground up you know you see these people and they're so successful and you're like oh my gosh I want to be there I want to do that but you don't realize what they've gone through and you don't realize the patience and how long it's taken them to get there. You just see the end result. And so it's just a good reminder, but I do have a good, I am blessed to have a good support system and family. But regardless of that, I still love listening to podcasts because it gives me new ideas. It inspires me and I just love them so much. So if you guys wanna check them out, go to my Instagram post, check them out and I will keep you guys updated about my process we're gonna I'm gonna be vlogging the whole process of doing my hair today so what we're using techniques we're using all of that so stay tuned so I just got to the salon and it's 7 45 Morgan's supposed to be here at 8 and it's a Wednesday and we're day after New Year's so we're actually gonna close today so it's gonna be us in the salon so let's go that I'm going to be using today to record this video is this ring light. So I'm going to set it right in front of the chair so the light is coming in my face and not from a different angle because whenever you're taking a photo or video, you always want the light in front of you, like coming at you, like in your face. So say the sun is right here in front of me, like literally where my hand is. This is where you would want to take the picture, like right where I'm standing. You wouldn't want to, well, I guess you guys can't see that. You wouldn't want to turn around and the light is behind you. That is what I'm trying to say. Cause then it creates shadows and it's just not good. Also, I'm going to be using this gimbal. My hubby got it for me for Christmas and it's really awesome. It just stabilizes your phone. Um, that way, no matter where I move, how I move it, it keeps the phone absolutely still so there's not a lot of shaking. So I'm gonna be filming with this today as soon as Morgan gets here. So these will be the two things I'm using today. Morgs is here. Okay, Morgs, so what are we mixing up today? I'm mixing up Synchro Lift with okay. 30 volume. Some 30 volume. Yep. Cool. So 
those are your real lashes? What? Those are your real lashes today? Yeah. We thought they were ruined forever. What mascara did you use? Something Maybelline. Push up, drama, something like that. Wow. I thought you were wearing falsies. Uh, I know. Mm -hmm. I wish you had lashes like me. Okay, so those. I don't care, I like my falsies. I know. Falsies are life. Let's see, can I put this around? No, I don't think I can. Anyways, for those of you wondering, I don't think I told you guys, but I'm using the, it's called the Osmo Mobile 2 Gimbal. It's pretty sweet. It's a little challenging at first if you've never used one because you have to balance it and then turn it on and it always looks a lot easier than it actually is, but it's actually pretty tricky. But I figured it out. Okay, Merg, so what are you doing? Tell us what you're doing. I am taking a mohawk section and doing super thin slices um, to just really get her super blonde. That's what we're So you can see for. she kind of sectioned here and she's gonna do like a very heavy foil all the way to the front, so. I don't know if you guys noticed too, but she's using a, it's called a chop swell. It's called a pro stick and Paul Mitchell makes them. And guys, they are so amazing. Literally every single time that I do any of my highlights or foils, I always use one of the pro sticks and it helps me work so much faster and helps get my sections really clean and my slices very thin and fine. And it just helps me work a lot faster. I love it. And if you guys, the only place I've found them that I think you can get them is on paulmitchell.com, I think. Paul Mitchell Pro. Paul, or <laughs> Paul Mitchell Pro, but you have to make a pro account. Um, so you have to be a licensed professional to get them on that site. So, but they are awesome. I love, absolutely love them. So, we just hit 2019. I'm so, so excited for this year, you guys. So, so one thing I told myself I was gonna do is do more for myself as far as get more massages, get my nails done, hair done more often. So, so far this week, I didn't wanna get my nails done, but I was like, I need to and I should. So I did and I love them. Look at them. These are my New Year's nails and I'm so obsessed. My guy, his name's Tony. He did a, such a good job. Usually never get anything like, um, complex like this if you if you want to say that I usually am just so simple and I get just like a plain color usually like white or black just the basic colors but I decided to do a little something fun this time for New Year's and then Merg is doing my hair so I had a goal of getting my nails getting my hair done and getting a massage this week so I don't think the massage is gonna happen this week but hopefully next week because oh my gosh I need it because we're working on our house so much because my husband and I are building a house right now and I've been painting literally so much and doing hair and you guys can know if you're a hairstylist doing hair alone is already really hard on our bodies and our backs and our hands and all of that so yeah so anyways hopefully next week I will get a massage because it's very important to take care of yourself and your body and especially if you plan on doing this a long time so like I was um So this is your dream, right? Yeah it was, last night. It's honestly <laughs> like so sweet. Like I, I haven't even seen like like I don't know why I had a dream like this. <laughs> oh that's cute. Anyways, so like you know our killed in the movies how like the mailbox right there, like just like that yeah. right there. Yeah. There was like three bodies. What? Like dead. So Morgan is using the Framar brushes and show them which brush you're using right now. She's gonna be switching and trying a new brush that she's never tried before, but. I used it with balayage, but not highlights. I told her she should try it with highlights because one time, or not one time, I use the brush sometimes for highlights, depending on what it's the brush. That's the one she's using right now. I love that brush. It's so good for highlights. 
but also show them the other one. Yeah. This, this is one beautiful. is amazing for balayage and even like highlight retouches because, can I see it real quick? Are you gonna use it right now? Never mind. Put it in so the, the end of the bristles is very like uneven and jagged and they're very soft at the end. It's not like a full brush. They kind of like tapered it and softened the bristles at the end. So when you do highlights with it, sorry, I'm, I'm moving, moving too much. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna try to talk and not use my hands or move as much. It's so hard. Okay, so the bristles are very tapered and it makes it really easy when you, I'm, I'm gonna try to demonstrate it very. Yeah, your head's like. <laughs> okay, so when you're applying the retouch, you take the brush and you just like swipe it on there and you don't have to worry about like bleeding as much um, because the bristles at the end are so soft. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, yeah. And it just makes for a really quick application. I love it, so. Vermar is amazing, and their foils are amazing. That's, we're using their foils right now too. Back there. The These are the holographic ones. Whoa, my face just blew up there. And they also oh. have blush colored foils, like blush pink. Rosé. And, and they are it. gorgeous. They just like make your work look so much more pretty and like professional. And it kind of just takes like your application to the next level. Just using foils, it sounds silly, but it's just, a way that we kind of stand out a little bit in our area and you know something a little different and like the clients love it like they go on about the foils they're like oh my gosh i love these foils they're so pretty and so they're fun okay so here is what morg's doing so far see all the come foils back, come back more <laughs> you can't see the foils because i'm painting over them painting oh. but yeah Anyways, I wasn't even looking for Cut the back myself, I'm just gonna cut the front. But yes. I, what about the back? No, I'm gonna leave the back and see how the front is a little bit longer. I'm just gonna like even it up. So it's a little oh, bit shorter in the front. the front. Yeah, cause it's slightly longer. So I'm just gonna like take this little bit of length off. <laughs> okay, let's look at the foils. Okay. Can you just take it? Okay. Yes! Oh, that's legit. Yeet. Oh my gosh. Go me, go me, go me. That's legit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, look at those roots, they're hideous. Yeah, they really are, guys. You guys! Oh, that's so bad. I cannot wait to have it yeah. refresh. Oh my gosh! That's awesome. So excited, you guys. It's been... How long has it been since I've had my hair done? It's been months. Oh my gosh, that's yeah, horrible. Because, yeah. But that's what happens when you have a salon and you're taking clients, building a house, <laughs> all of that stuff. There's no time to get your hair done. So starting off the new year right. Yes. And I'm so excited because our house is almost done. It'll be done in like maybe two weeks. We'll get to move in. My life will be normal again. It'll be organized again because right now everything is just scattered everywhere and nothing is organized. So I feel very out of place because I'm a pretty organized person, pretty good planner, but lately it's been kind of all over the place. So, so excited. What's going on, Merg? I just did this piece like 80 times. 80 times? Yeah. Whoa. Is that good right there? Yeah? Can I see what you're doing? I wish I had eyes up there too. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I struggling with art and shit and stuff? Is that good? Is that kind of closer? Yeah, you can see. I move it a little bit. That's so good. Yeah. Just bring it up a little bit. Yeah, 
gosh, hurry up. I gotta get you folding it. My arm is killing. Oh, I can do it. Wanna get a workout? Just hold a gimbal up for 10 minutes. Actually, only five. More like 10 seconds and it starts burning. There, right there. The foils are so pretty. So magical. I'm not sure what's happening exactly, but... <clears throat> so this little stinker decided she wanted to jump out of her pen and escape. <laughs> oh my goodness, what am I going to do with you? What am I going to do with you? You want to get down? Okay, let me let her down for a second. <laughs> she, oh my gosh, she just jumped. I guess she's fine. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hate when she jumps. <laughs> Minnie, what are you doing back there? Come up here. Oh, oh my gosh. She almost gave me a Minnie, heart attack. Come here. I don't like her to jump off stuff high. She's such a little puppy. She could hurt herself. Oh she's my just, goodness. She's sitting on the carpet. Little ball of energy. Time to mix some more up because I got the care. Yeah, have fun. Yeah. Here's our color bar. More synchro with 30 ball. Almost done. We're getting there. All these foils in. So some of the foils are done. So Merg is going to start wiping them out. Hold on, let me show them. Is it, can you see it? Nope. Coming back. Is that good? Wiping them out. What do they look like right now? Crap. I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I hope not. They look good. Nice and bright. Oh, my little puppy. She's falling asleep. Yes, you just love giving kisses, I know. You're such a sweet puppy. So here's what the foils look like in my hair. She's already taken some out. And we put some Olaplex number two on it just to make sure the bonds are put together, keeps it nice and healthy without breaking off. So I've got some of that on my hair dry, just on the pieces that she took off. And I've got my cute little mohawk. You take really thin sections and like slices, whether you're slicing or weaving, because by taking those thin, fine sections, you're going to get even saturation and you're also going to get a brighter blonde if you're taking. So Merg just finished putting the gloss in my hair. Well, first we did Olaplex um, to treat my hair and just make sure all the bonds were still together. Um, so I love doing Olaplex for my blonde and now she just shampooed it and then she's going to condition it and we toned it with Paul Mitchell, the Demi 10V. It's such a beautiful gloss. We decided to go with V because I still had a lot of gold in my hair. So we wanted to make sure that we got rid of all the gold. So by using the violet, violet cancels out yellow or golden tones, so we went with the 10B instead. Okay, so here it is. Definitely no more dark roots, which is awesome. And we are gonna dry it. So, Marg, what are you using in my hair today? Using the Paul Mitchell Neuro Prime on her hair, and I'm gonna put some super skinny serum. Love those, those are like two of my favorite products. The Prime protects your hair from the heat while you're blow drying it and also just gives it like the smoothest, prettiest, shiniest blowout. And then the Super Skinny does a lot of things. It helps the hair to dry faster, also helps to condition and detangle the hair as well as give it some protection. And then I love finishing the hair off with a little bit of the Super Skinny Serum too because it just kind of eliminates frizz, adds that a little bit of additional shine. Just one of my favorites, I love it. Oh. 
Oh, that's cute. Do rag. Oh, that's Jay. really cute. Yeah, look at that. Yes, diamond profile. That should be my new look. My hair is getting bigger. Bigger. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Yes. Oh my gosh, so much better. So 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 much better. Now we just need to style it. So here is the end result. Looking so much better. No more of those nasty dark roots. Okay, so here is the after. No more roots, you guys. They're all gone. So shiny. I love it. So pretty. Merg did a great job. And by the way, her name's not really Merg, it's Morgan, but I call her Merg. But this is so pretty.